The discovery is, of course, that man and woman are fictions, caricatures, cultural constructs. As models, they are reductive, totalitarian, and inappropriate to human becoming. As roles, they are static, demeaning to the female, dead-ended, and, and for males and females both. Culture as we know it legislates those fictive roles as normalcy. Deviations from sanctioned sacred behavior are gender disorders, criminality, as well as sick, disgusting, and immoral. should be a leader, brave, and a stable rock to lean on. Act a certain way, act a certain way. Present myself. Be strong and powerful and fight. Be the man. Men must move this way. Men are strong. Strong and dependable. The in from my shoulders I have. Society puts the more masculine people in positions of authority. Men are portrayed as strong, as supportive, masculine. Masculine men are supposed to be stoic and silent. You can tell when you're in the presence of a man. A man? Men. Womanizers. It seems like they're supposed to control us. You hardly run across a gentle or sensitive man. Every male is different. I love all aspects of being a male. A man should be defined. He should put his needs last and help his family and others maintain stability first. The strength, the powers, and the independence. Each of us has both genders within us. But sometimes one prevails over the other. Prevails over the other. In our culture, men are not supposed to cry. Men are not supposed to have feelings. In society, my gender doesn't allow me to wear dresses or makeup. We wear certain colors. Our hair has to be a certain length. I feel confined by my body parts. I've always admired strong males, and I tried to model myself after them. If you don't act this way, it's almost as if you are considered taboo. Maybe they want to be normal. What is normal? They might think I'm gay or weird or something like that. And my shorts are too small. My hair is cut and dyed differently. This may be considered crazy. My gender is allowed to only look and act a certain way. When I was little, I would always play with Barbies. I would play house. I would play school. Act a certain way. Be the man. And when people don't act a certain gender, order is vanished. And chaos begins to settle in. Do you feel forced? 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 Do you feel People will call us cross-dressers. A man can always see a woman and like the way she is, but he just might like the style that they wear. I can't talk about things that I like, like ballet or dance. That doesn't mean society doesn't decide. If anything, it is culture and tradition that has put more of a pressure on me to be a certain way and misunderstood or looked down on me as a person.
For certain males, it is harder for them because they have more female characteristics in them than male. I love being a man, but sometimes I wonder if it's because I don't know what it's really like to be a woman. I think there's an undefined amount of genders. Different kinds of love. They give you these two molds. In my perfect world, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter anything in its culture and tradition. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I love it. It really doesn't matter. 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 Uh, I tended to speak and gesture kind of feminine ways, and I was I was teased for it a lot. I decided a long time ago not to care what gender a perfume was, and made the decision that I don't care who it is marketed to, that if I like the smell of roses, I'm going to smell like roses. Because we, as humans, have a right and a choice to make what we want and how we want to look. Not every guy needs to be a macho. A man can act like a woman, whether he be gay or not. Only society forces us. I might never be able to get married. I might never be able to have a great job. That shouldn't be the way it is. Because society sees me as a man, they believe I have to have male characteristics. With being gay and the world would be a peaceful place if we didn't define each other from gender. I didn't like being teased, so I began taking mental notes of how guys acted or carried themselves with their walk. People that are not out of the ordinary will judge the people as people. We'll judge, 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 we'll judge. But finally I was on my bed and I was like 16 years old. I admitted to myself that I was gay and I remember crying, tears like I've never seen before. Finally admitting that I'm gay and I'm proud of it. And I promised myself then and there that I would never try to be someone I'm not and live my life the way I want to. You are in charge of your own destiny. You are what makes you you. Never let anybody tell you to act a certain way, to be a certain way. You are who you are. And in my case, I am a gay male living and loving life. I am here and I'm here to stay. Women are portrayed as a 